All right, today we are going to talk about the Swan Home Save MVR 8 8580. So, this one is a 8 channel camera with a power over Ethernet PoE camera and it allows you to connect up to cam uh, 8 camera, but we only have 4 camera over here. Now, the um, reason why I want to make this video is how to set up a security. Uh, systems for Swan home safe application um, maybe just me running into that issue because whenever I set it up I didn't do something right so I want to let you guys know what I did wrong so you guys don't make the same mistakes even if you did you can call contact Swan and they're generally pretty good customer service I have no experience no issue with them and I have been pretty happy with them so let's get to it um number one we have a two-sided one is device and one is a group over here is uh we have four camera that's the camera that came with the uh, mvr that i set it up and over here it has a red x or a stop sign whatever you want to call that now on the top four it doesn't have it so that means those four are connected and those four are not. So if you have the same issue like I did, all of it is red like those four, that means we did something wrong. Either the password isn't right, the P2P, uh, IP ID, whatever they call it, IP slash ID isn't right, which is the QR code on top of the um, box, that's P2P ID, that's not correct. So what you need to do is make sure, first of all, your password has no special character. What I meant by special character is, I did that is, my password is uh, 1234 at ABCD. And so they didn't like the at sign, so they can't access. So, well, in the instruction menu, they don't tell you that you can't use a special character. But that's the thing. When you use the at sign, it's more secure. So, for some reason, that's you know interesting. But anyway, we got rid of it. We just did one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, and that's how this works. And you did not have to need. You didn't need a um, open a port. None of that. Uh, to, to for me, I was overthinking, and that's problem up. Properly, my problem is overthinking this more complicated. So, as you can see over here, I have um, my IP address right here, which is the camera. And then if I click on it, over, over here it will show all the information for that device. For example, you will need the information for the uh, P2P ID, and then I address, and then over here, so basically it tells you all the port information. So I'm going to click on it and block it because I do not want the P2P out there. And also it shows you the Mac ID. So keep, keep that in there. So I'm going to exit. So that kind of has all your personal information. So um, that's basically it. Now to make sure the camera work properly, you had to create a group and whenever you add a camera it automatically create a group but you had to make sure you had to input all the camera that you have that's online input to here and then that's how it be able to access so that's what the most hardest part for me is I was wondering why it's not working how is it so complicated just because I add it but also have the red X and also has uh, group already existing but I can't figure out how to use it so now I got this situated we're good to go and now it's working the way it's supposed to so I'm gonna quickly show you a peek of it just because all right so here you go this is the uh, backyard so, anyway that's basically it and thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next time be sure to like if that helped you, 
And if you have any question, comment down below. And I am thinking about making more video about the Swan camera. Um, safe, home safe viewer, viewer app. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next time. Peace.